Is there one boy back? Michael Hamilton. We we need to bring him in. Star Robinson. I don't like that these guys lose their happiness when they like they're out for injuries. That kind of makes me mad. All right, Port Vale is fifth in the league. A big win here today would be great. No problem, Sebo. Yeah, we started in FM 22 and we went all the way from the lower tier to the championship and I just dropped them back a tier and we started from scratch again. So I spent, I'm slowly uploading the episodes to my secondary YouTube channel on what we built the team on. But we had such a setback at the start of this season losing both of our goalkeepers. Um... One still out. It says seven days full training. I do general rehab. I can. They had a big patch on it the other day. Um. So far, I've not seen anything out of the or like weirdness. But uh, it is. It's still early. It's still early. We'll have to see what happens. What is it with this Lee Riley just here randomly? Is this supposed to be the referee or something? What's the deal with that? I don't know. Okay, we're there, we're starting to get some uh, some happiness. Martin Coy, he only averages uh, half a. Yellow card to match. It's wet out and 66 degrees. Let's see anybody that I know on their team. Will Forrester. Hey, we had Will Forrester on our team uh, in FM 22 for a while. Ooh. I like seeing players we've had before. We got the lads wearing our greens and blues today. I wouldn't mind. The attendance today is 7,900. I'm actually shocked that uh, we bring in as many fans as we did. But we did a lot of that building in FM22. Bennett with the free kick here sells it over. No, Bennett. I'll bring Micah uh, Hamilton in, maybe at halftime. We need to really get him back into, uh, he, we loaned him from a team, and uh, he's a superior winger to who we have. I think him and Janelle out there would be amazing. Partridge, Sarula. Partridge moves it around, goes to India Kirby. Williams, tried to hit Miller, misses it up. Garrity, Ojo. Back to Willis. What you talking about? O'Shawn to Robinson trying to hit Bennett. And it's cut off. Garrity back to Ojo. They'll set back up again. Brainy to Harrison. O'Shawn gets it again. Alex. Roshan in your Kirby tries to play it up. Here's Amari Miller. Amari Miller gets it, meets the man, looking, kicks it in. Oh, and the block shot, get it. Oh, we had an opportunity there, and we just couldn't bring it down and put it in the goal. Miles Layburn just couldn't get a hold of it, 
Will Forrester got smoked in labor and it's blocked by Craney. Massey clears it out. Encourage the team, try to get them going. Portville is sixth place in the league, so they're a really good team. Clear cut chances created. One. That's good to see. I didn't know that was even on here. We've had four shots, none on target. They've had no shots and none on target. So our defense is playing magnificent. Why are you apprehensive? Okay. I got them both out of that. Then Bikisa. Plays it over. Oh, it's cut off by Massey. Massey. Oh, I, just, I hate when it does that abrupt cut. Trying to hit Miles Layburn. He gets it. He puts it through to Amari Miller. Amari Miller in. Looking. Looking again. Can we do it this time? Layburn. It's blocked again. Layburn. Oh, Stevens with a great block. Oh, man. Miller has done an astounding job over there, really trying to set up Layburn. And Layburn, two chances. Stevens blocks it. We'll get a corner here. Salrula and Forrester. Will Forrester heads it away. We've seen that a time or two. Good lift. And Bikisa up to Amari Miller. Amari Miller back to good lift again. Good lift. Back to Limbakisa. Limbakisa to Kirby. Good lift. Up to Amari Miller. He's got a man in the box. Sends it over. Bennett comes out of nowhere and misses the header. Oh, man. Janelle Bennett. Man, we're so aggressive this year. This is the most aggressive team I've ever had. They're just not good at putting it in the back of the net always. Layburn goes over to Robinson. Robinson sends it through. Here's Amari Miller again. Amari Miller's in. Takes the shot. Oh, he crunches off the post. Oh, my Lord. Disappointed. Oh. I don't know if I like... Well, that's the stupidest thing. I don't know what I want. Stats and body language is exactly the same thing. Actually, stats shows more. I mean, you can go through it here, but... Oh, it's right here. You can just go to general info and it's the same thing. Let's uh, encourage the team again. Will Forrester sends that one up. Roshan Williams. Bennett. Bennett. Some room. Takes the shot. It springs up and over. And we'll get a corner kick out of that.
the real manly look. You know what? I have friends and they're like, you have a lot of twins out there. And I also met a buddy at a wedding that I play World of Warcraft with. And he was like, you're the missing link between my brothers and I. And I was like, what? So evidently there's a lot of bald headed men who used to be uh, blonde headed men. All right, we need to make some subs here. I want to bring in Micah Hamilton. Um, you know, Bennett, not really been playing well today. How's Laburn? He's kind of tired. We may have to sub him soon. That's, this is how it works out. I blame my German heritage. You take us out of the uh, the European continent and we just lose our hair. It's like Samson. Oh, a chance here. Come on. Coleman comes up with it. Good defense. Sebo, you're scaring me now. Good defense there by Wilson and them. All right, 20 minutes to play. Limbikisa to throw in. Hits Miller. Good lift. Roshan plays it over the top. Miles Laburn, just too much on that one. Come on. Right over the top, good lifts there. Kirby trying to come up with it, does. Kirby dribbles through, hits Hamilton. Hamilton coming off that injury. He finds Amari Miller. Amari Miller's up. Amari Miller into the box, takes a shot. Stevens there. I don't like these nervous guys. I'm going to bring Smith in. Artridge sends this one in. Good lifts there. Uh, that's kind of the colors have just kind of developed over the years. We've just went with the blue, green, purple, and black ensemble. Like I've not really like narrowed it down anymore. Over the top. Uh oh, politic. Oh, Coleman gets a hand on it. What a save. Oh, 78th minute corner coming in here. Onion. Swings it in, and it's headed away. Still in danger. Goes out the small. Small takes a shot. He sends it into the green. Another throw in for them here. Massey. Looking back. Smith in the Mippo. Massey again. Looking the cross. Sends it over. Coleman with the snag. They're really bringing it at us right now. We need to get this ball. I'm going to tell the hotel team to focus. It may be too late. Coleman with a big save. So many of them are like nervous. I need, oh my God. They, they got so pissed off by that. Five minutes of extra time. I'll take a point against Port Vale. They're at the top of the league. We'll play it over. Maybe one more chance. Nope, that's it. We will get a point from Port Vale. is why can I not talk to him why is he so distracted 
All right, so that puts us at 19th. We're still one point out of relegation. So, like I said, a very rough start to the season. Let's see what these idiot people have to tell me. Do you feel your ambitions for the club are matched by the chairperson? I do, yes. Kind of. What do you make of Miles LeBurn's bad day in front of goal? Smile warmly. Um, he has to pick himself up and make amends next time. He knows there could be no good without bad. Oh, finally, they got some. You get along well with Daryl Clark. Is that the coach of that team? Yeah, I guess. Not really. He did say we were going to get relegated, so I could care less about him. So, yeah, going back to the colors, <clears throat> when I made, uh, I originally made Sir Francis Drake FC on FIFA. I asked the viewers on my YouTube channel uh, what color I should go with, and most of them picked lime green. So we started with lime green, and we've kind of toned it down to this like darker green. And I the blue come along because of the ocean, um, and then purple was like our other color that we went with. And then last year I incorporated black in for our third jerseys just to give us something different so purple because it's on twitch yeah that's exactly what it was uh they say jaycock is back ready to play in this next game i'll i'll go ahead and go with the uh we could pull this off home advantage gives us a slight edge in the carabao cup second round monthly staff meeting i really don't know if i want to look at that i recommend individual shooting training sure he'll get mad at that but whatever You all told me to put him on strength training. Nope, not going to change it. He's content with training, but they're worried about him not being content with training. They're all worried about lack of center back depth. Club atmosphere is average. Hey, the head coach support is now up to average. I will take that. We'll yell at him and he's been doing well. I don't care about under 21 stuff. Oh, who's this? It would be a good choice to bolster the medical department by hiring Victoria McIntyre. What's up, girl? We'll schedule that after the meeting. I didn't know we had a physio opening. We don't. So what are we hiring her for? I think they, they're boner. The power of boner made them want to like hire her. What is her physio? 13. So she would be like the worst. Special assistant to the manager. Hey, we get a job for physio. Where's the...
Yeah, we really don't have uh, any openings. So I, I don't know why they're suggesting her. All right. All right, he says he's going to work harder. We'll see. Are you confident ahead of the... We've been sharp in training. How much further could you take the surprise and care about Cup Run? Uh, every team that reaches the stage has a chance to advance. Can you tell us whether Liam Kinsella will be available? Don't hold your breath. Uh, how important are players like Janelle Bennett? Ultra consistent. He's dependable as they come. Hawkins has injured himself. I leave the physio. It's only one to three. Why would I give him an injection to get him through like three days? I don't understand that. Javi Woods. Bounds is 16. He's got good pace. He just can't speed up that fast. Hmm. I don't think we got good enough scouts to go after like youth players and find them yet. All right. Let's see if we can get past this. Shoot on sight? No, they already do that. If I put shoot on sight, they're going to shoot from the other side. Okay, Jaycock is not good to go. That's what I kind of thought. Um, We'll do a fair bit of rotating for this one, though. We got a lot of injuries. Cell is injured. with Hawkins injured. We are, we are thin on the, we need another center back. We need to do that after this game. I don't think we get a lot of subs for this game either, so. $14 to get into this. Go out and play your own game. Other than I have faith in them, and nobody gives a crap. All right, anybody on their team that we've used before? Does not look like it. Michael Oliver is the official tonight. I grew up in southeastern Kentucky, and then I moved up to central Kentucky, and I worked where I worked in the classroom. I worked really hard on my accent. So, like, when I taught in the classroom before I moved up to the state level, I was always told, oh, you have a country accent. Then I go home and they say, you sound like you're from the city. So, it's, uh, it's more of, like, working on that. But it comes out sometimes. 
Especially when I drink. I sound really countryfied. That's when the cornbread talk comes out. So we got a bunch of like players that don't normally play playing in this game. So we'll have to see what happens. Hamilton tries to play that one up. We've still got a lot of players trying to get to form. Cornbread and chili. I don't know about that. That's a weird mixture. Oh, God. We just let a guard through. A guard chips it over. Oh, my Lord. Oh, they should ever right be up 1-0. Good Lord. Throw No, free kick for here. Bennett sends it in. Willock looking for it. Matty Willock couldn't get to it. A guard again. We need to guard against the guard. Let's shout some encouragement out there. Barlow taking the toll road over to Molyneux. Williams will send that back the other way. Robinson heads it up. Jaden Smith just couldn't get to it there. I need to figure out if Jaden Smith can play that. A guard again, and he is going to put a goal in. Absolutely unstoppable. A guard has had our number here, and they'll take the lead in the first eight minutes of the game. Remember, it's our backup to the backup to the backup goalkeeper. He got played on side by Hartridge there. Come on. Come on, Alex. Guard. I thought he was going to do it again. Oh, we give it right back to him. What are you doing? Molyneux, and it's 2-0. Offsides, though, saves us. Doncaster, come to play today. I need to check something here. Um, I'm going to change Smith. I'm pretty sure we played him as the deep-lying forward attack. And that's when he... Uh, or actually, we may have done a... Uh, I'll tinker with him. I'll see what I'm going to do. Going to demand more from him. Matty Willick. Plays it over to Matt Robinson. I think it's Matt Robinson. Yeah. We'll turn it over. We'll get it right back. Here's Bennett. Bennett drives it to the box. Looking, looking, looking. Takes it. Why would you shoot that? He did amazing until the finish. Corner coming in. Shane Flynn sends it. Mitchell punches it away. Oh, we had a head on it, but it just come back. Roshan Williams sends it over to Marsh. Greg Marsh. Williams again tries to go over to the top to Smith. Nobody's home. Mitchell sends this one deep. Shane Flynn collects it. Oh, no call by the ref. We'll get the ball. The guard again comes through, takes the shot. He misses everything. They've had six shots, only one on target. We've had four shots, only one, none on target. So we're we're not even getting the ball in.
We'll go with that. They really downgraded him this year. He's not even consistent. Um, we really don't have anybody to come in and play. Ooh, that worked. Told the goal. Told the forwards I was not happy with them in front of goal. Usually they frown upon that, but they took that one. We lit a fire. Shit fire and save the matches. Let's go. We just need to we need a good push. We need to come out here. I know we're playing with the, the squad that's really changed. Matty Willick, good move there. Tries to play. Shane Flynn down the side. Shane Flynn into the box. Shane Flynn. Smith! Oh, what kind of shot was that, Smith? If you put any kind of muscle into it, if you just moved your leg, it would have went in. That was the weakest shot I've ever seen. Oh, come on. Free kick here. Bennett. Williams puts it in there. Roshan Williams will tie it up at one all in the 57th minute. Let's go. Janelle Bennett, the center back, puts it in. He is onside big time. I might have to put somebody in to play out of position here in a minute. I'm not a fan of that. Molyneux comes down with it. Drives in, takes a shot. It's over everything. They want me to sub an injured person in. He has bruised ribs. Can he play with bruised ribs? I feel like he wouldn't be able to run. I'll try it. I'm interested in seeing how this works. I'm sure he's got a rib protector on or something. Robinson up to Matty Willett. Willick looking. Robinson. He's got two guys down the wing. He just needs to make a pass. George Marsh. Good move on the outside. Beats the defender. He cuts in. George Marsh looking. Goes back to Bennett. Bennett plays it two forward. Robinson gets it. Robinson Mitchell makes the save. We're going to go into penalty kicks again, aren't we? They play it over the top. Molyneux. Oh, and the guard, it's blocked. Twenty to play. Williams goes into white. Bennett. Janelle Bennett on the run. Sends it over. Hamilton's there. Couldn't get a hold of it. Close. Comes down with it. Plays it up to the guard. Neither team giving too much here in the second half. Hamilton comes up. Great move there. Hamilton trying to find his form. We'll go over to Hawkins. Partridge tries to play it over the top. He's got Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith. That's what Jaden. <laughs>
I, I, I don't even know. All right, we'll bring in our main guy, Miles Laburn. We've got Amari Miller out there on the other side of Hamilton. Laburn, Miller, Miller into George Marsh. George Marsh looking. Brings it back out to Alex Hartridge. Hartridge into White. White sends it in. Miller's there. White gets it back. Willick sends it in, and it stopped. He tried to sneak it in there. Looks like... Uh-oh, Laburn. Can Laburn... Oh, it's off the wall. We'll get a corner. I thought we had a chance to win it there. Four minutes of extra time. A minute and a half's already went by. Shane Flynn, can we win it here on a corner to advance in the Carabao Cup? It's in. Oh, he puts it in! In dramatic fashion, Miles Laburn has headed it in. The Drakes are going to the next round. If they can hold on for another minute and so. Holy cow, what a comeback! Oh my God. Coleman holds on to it, waiting for the ref to blow the whistle. Coleman sends it forward. Hahn, Seaman, Barlow, Hattridge, Hartridge gets it. Matty Willick just kicks it forward. And that's gonna be it, let's go. Holy cow, what a win over Doncaster. <sighs> Miles Laburn coming in, putting the goal in. Oh my Lord. Outstretched arms. The sort of comeback people will talk about for years. Incredible. Boom. Woo! Drake FC's match against Doncaster will have been a meaningful one for Roshan Williams as he was able to celebrate victory over his former club. He also scored a goal for us, so he scored against his old club. That's pretty cool. Drake FC advanced to the third round after a 2-1 win over Doncaster at Jack White Stadium. This League One team, we're not expecting to progress past the first round. The fairy tale continues. You must be delighted. It's a brilliant feeling. Everyone's worked hard for this. Your team scored an extremely late but crucial goal today. Were you surprised that so much stop at time was added? Um, I don't know, but Doncaster probably have a reason to feel hard done by. Can you succinctly, some succinctly, succinctly? Who uses that word in normal, everyday language? In a brief or clearly expressed manner. Why won't you just say, can you briefly sum up your feelings? Like, we worked hard for that. We got the reward. I'm pleased. Or are you impressed with the goal Kieran Agard scored against your team today? It was a great goal. I know what it means, Mad Martin. I looked it up to double check, but I was like, who uses that? A praises performance. Montserrat boss Willie Danashi was seen at Jack White Stadium. He was casting an eye over the progress of Maddie Willick. Uh, I think Maddie played that game, so you know. Oh, I was like, what in the world is this thing doing? Well, you can really uh, break this stuff down. Yeah, Matty Willick played. Okay, good. 
That'd have been awful if he didn't play. Uh, I thought I called his name. Danny Schofield claimed your team's late goal against him was entirely undeserved. Do you agree with that? I don't think so at all. We deserve far more than that. He can get over himself. Stephen Thomas's response to your suggestion that his team were lucky to grab a late goal was feisty, to say the least. Do you have anything else to say on the matter? He's a very petty and very bitter head coach, unfortunately. His reaction to this whole affair has been quite revealing. All right, Danny. You get a nickname, my friend. Oh, Danny. Douche nose. Schofield. Here we go. Danny Douchno Schofield replied. All right. Forever in the game. <laughs> ah. The first guy to get a nickname. Kinsella has completed the rehabilitation phrase of his treatment is now in position to return. Excellent. That's good because... Uh, Lewis Page has been really a jerk about playing over there. All right. One thing I do need to look up is to get another. Um, I want to go to the draw so we can see who we play next. Is um, we need another central defender. Let me bring up my central defender thing. This is not. This is. I need to clean this up. Can I like just remove all of these? Now, does this delete the whole? Th I don't know. This. This sh this should be something that's better to work on than. This, this is a mess. Like, Hmm. Oh, this guy. Welcome aboard. Ah, uh, Swoodie V. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Hello there. Problem is, I really need to just find somebody who I can like. He's loaned out, so these people that are loaned. Harvey O'Brien. I need somebody that like. He's got good physicals. Uh, we, we started, uh, over this year and it's been a tumultuous start to the beginning of the year. Our starting goalkeeper tore his ACL, our backup goalkeeper strained his knees and, uh, we had to play one game with a gray name player. And then we finally signed another keeper and we've just been trying, we're not too far into the season, but we've just been trying to survive.
I just need somebody that can be a backup. This dude's 6'6". Six, six. They're both inconsistent. He's injury prone. Even their positioning, he's a little bit better. Better, he's better. He's stronger. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a Sir Francis Drake. He was a pirate for England, and he's a. It goes back to a, a Let's Play series that I did on my game. Uh, the game Colonization years ago, and he was one of the founding fathers. You could uh, recruit to your side to give you bonuses. And he never ever gave me the bonus he was supposed to. And it just, I always raged over him and he just become kind of like a gimmick uh, on our thing. Hey, Frosty Privates, how are you doing? Hello there. I think I'll just sign Ollie. If we can get him kind of cheap. If he'll be a ba emergency backup. That's actually Perfect. Kinsella's training. <clears throat> yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock here. I've been, oh my God, five hours. I, I am like addicted to this game. I haven't had dinner. I had like a lunch, a late lunch earlier. And it's just, Frosty, I'm one of those people. I, 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 people who like invested people to get them addicted to the game need to like invest in me because I can sell your product. Because I like drive people crazy. Transfer deadline in one week. Oh man, I don't know if we need to go after anything else or not. Let's see what they say. First of all, here's the players whose contracts are about to expire within the next twelve months. Uh, yeah, we don't need to worry about them. Um, he was the first person to circumnavigate the globe and live. Ferdinand Magellan was the first one who led the expedition to do it. But Sir Francis Drake didn't die in the Philippines. A German League of Three save. That sounds pretty cool. I would like to try like a... um. Like a thing to see. No, Magellan died at the Philippines. I always used to bring that out and all my students would be like, uh, oh, history is a lie. And I'm like, let me tell you what Christopher Columbus really did. Let's see. Is there anybody we want to go after that's like future? Yeah, they like landed for water or something and No, I still think that Christopher Columbus Columbus Day should be a holiday because he did open up the world again. He rejuvenated the coming across the Atlantic. Now, with that said, we've just got to do a better job of talking about that even though some people did things that were good, their personalities could also be bad as well. Um, but this, I always say Columbus is a good example where people go, well, only the winners write history. And it's just like, oh, really? Then how do we know all these bad things that Columbus did? Um, so, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Uh, I don't, I don't think I can make a, let's see what their other recommended play. Arthur Reed. Oh, hi. He would actually be a good addition to the team, but I'm afraid.
We are League One right now. But I started with a team that was all of gray players, so I had to start from scratch again. Do we not have the draw coming up? Oh, it is. It's today. Okay, that's what I wanted to get to today. Also, if you're out there and you're not following me, hit that follow button. Why follow your dreams when you could follow me? 32 teams going to the hat for the 16 matches to be drawn. Premier League teams, Man City, Liverpool, and Chelsea enter going into the competition. Who do we get? <sighs> this is scary. All right, here we go. Norwich first out of the hat. Leeds. Tottenham. Newcastle. Cardiff. Everton. Coventry City, Man United, Liverpool, Crystal Palace, Wigan, Huddersfield, Fulham, Preston, Chelsea, West Ham. All right. <laughs> We're halfway through. Oh, man. There's a lot of good uh, teams we could draw still that are League One and League Two. Arsenal is obviously a death trap. Brentford and Bournemouth, Brighton are your. Man City is a death trap. <sighs> Stoke. Oh, we drew Stoke. Oh, we go up a tier and we go on the road. We mi missed out on Arsenal. Oh, man. Reading and Brentford. Oxford will take on Bournemouth. Who's going to get Man City? Blackburn. Brighton. Uh-oh. Burton. Oh, League One. They're gonna Bradford City. So that means that Man City plays Blackpool. Yeah, we we could have a chance. I'll get a team report on them. Sir Francis Drake will play Stoke City in the Carabao Cup third round. Stoke have been drawn as the home team, so we'll be going to the Bet365 Stadium on November 8th. Check that out. They have a grass and synthetic mix. So what's that make our uh, calendar look like now? <clears throat> All right. We got a week of the transfer window. We play Wickham this weekend. We got Oxford and they're mid table. Then we'll flip over. We flip over. We have Peterborough. And then we just go back to the weekly matches. And then we don't play them. Well, we'll draw for another cup, I guess. Yeah, because that third round cup is not. Because there's other things we're in, right? We enter on 11-5. So, November 5th. So, maybe we don't. Oh, yeah, Mad Martin. I designed that. I stole it kind of from another team. And uh, utilized it. So. We're still trying to climb back out. Where financial status is okay. We still got $7.9 in the transfer budget. So uh, it's sad that you can't like shift that down. 
you know, Cloud Barrel, Vasco da Gama. Vasco da Gama. The Animaniacs talked about him. He took spices around the horn. All right, let's uh, let's get up here to the Wickham game and make sure nothing terrible happens. Okay, so here's our uh, Stoke scouting report. Let's see what their players look like compared to mine. Well, they have amazing. Uh... Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're really good compared to mine. Defensively, they got some studs. They got a 40-year-old on their team. I am older than this man. Is that who I stole that from? Uh, it's close. It really is. Oh, it, ha it is. It has to be. Yeah, because I took off some of the stuff. Yep, you're right. That's exactly where it's from. Good call, Cloud. I just took off their symbols here and here, and then I, uh, just recolored it a little bit. It was either that or I paid somebody on Fiverr to make me one, and I was just, like, not about that life. So... The first signing I ever made on the game was a 39-year-old uh, goalkeeper, and he, like, fell apart, like, two months. All right, we've got Wickham coming up. They're poor. We're poor. We've co so far confounded their critics as we were preseason relegation candidates. We're a 20th in League One table. Papa John's trophy. We won that on the other one. Let's do the press conference. Get this out of the way. Uh, you have an update. He's going to be back. In, he's not going to be back anytime too. Uh, Roshan Williams' arrival seems to have positive. He's a real breath of fresh air. Everyone seems to think that Mari Miller will be the difference maker today. You can't put a value on him. Let's hope. Uh, I am using the SAS23 skin. Um, there's a link for it. But it goes to, it's like a media fire thing. So I don't want to link it because if you just search it, you'll find the website. But just make sure you, if you look that up, you'll find it eventually. Arthur Reed, they want 69,000 and then, no, no. Remove that. I'll give you 70. 14,000 after 50 games? Sure. Um, all right. I'm interested to see what this dude... He wants to be a fringe player. That's perfect. All right, let's look at the standings and see where we're at right now. We are sitting in 20th place, one point out of the relegation zone. We only have four points after four games. It has been a very rough start to the year with our two starting goalkeepers going down before the season started. Uh, 
hopefully we can bounce back. We did so well in the preseason and then lost our first two. We've won a few games in the cup. We've won and drawn. So maybe we've bounced back after getting like an actual goalkeeper. We'll have to see how the end of August and going into September does for us. We've got ninth place Oxford, sixth place Peterborough, 10th place Portman, 15th Cambridge, and then 5th place United, or United, shoot, Plymouth, excuse me, I was reading something else, um, and we'll see.